In the following chemical energetics question, the question reads that gaseous oxides of nitrogen have a positive enthalpy changes of formation. So, uh, he's talking about the gaseous oxides of nitrogen. There are two gaseous, common gaseous oxides. One is NO2 and the other one is nitrogen monoxide. So, nitrogen dioxide and nitrogen monoxide. A couple of other gaseous oxides are present, uh, are formed as well. So, uh, he's saying that they have positive enthalpy changes of formation. So, so positive means that the reactions are endothermic. Now, enthalpy changes of formation are when one mole of a substance, for example, one mole of NO2 would be formed from its constituent element. The elements would be nitrogen and it would be oxygen. So if I'm, uh, and let's balance that, this would be 2NO2 and 2O2. So enthalpy of formation is, now for enthalpy of formation, the substance should be one mole. So let's keep that one mole. So there would be half molecules of nitrogen. So, so one mole of NO2 would be formed from its constituent elements. If the oxide is nitrogen monoxide, then again one mole of NO would be formed from its constituent elements, which would be nitrogen and oxygen. So half O2 and half nitrogen. So I've written a couple of equations that are related to the positive uh, enthalpy changes of formation. Now, he's saying which factor is most likely to make the most significant contribution to these enthalpy changes. So, both of them uh, are endothermic. The enthalpy change of formation values are positive. So, it's endothermic. They're absorbing energy. And we're going to figure out why the reaction is endothermic. Now, if you look at both questions, in both questions, you're breaking the N triple bond, N bond that is being broken and you're also breaking the oxygen double bond, oxygen bond. Now to break the N triple bond in, the amount of energy that's required is 994 kilojoules per mole. So it requires a lot of energy. To break the oxygen double bond, oxygen bond, you just need 496 kilojoules per mole of energy. So the most significant contributing factor is going to be the N triple bond N. So the overall enthalpy change of the reaction would depend on this N triple bond N because it has a very high bond energy. It's a very, very strong bond. So it requires a lot of energy. So uh, which factor is likely to make the most significant contribution to these enthalpy changes? Then it's going to be the high bond energy of the nitrogen molecule because you need to break that bond for the reaction to occur. So option A looks perfectly correct. The other options, the high electron affinity of nitrogen atoms uh, that basically means that nitrogen has a very high tendency to attract electrons, but uh, that would not be an issue. The high electron affinity of the oxygen atom, oxygen also likes to form negative ions, but in this case, they're basically sharing electrons and they're forming covalent compounds. The similarity of the electronegativity of oxygen and nitrogen, and all the three factors, they lead to polarity of a bond, but they don't actually affect the overall enthalpy or the bond strength. So the reason why the overall enthalpy changes for these reactions are highly endothermic is because it requires a lot of energy to break the N triple bond N in both molecules. Hence, option A is going to be the correct option for this question.